Good afternoon guys. So to start, I said to you we'll be doing a load of videos. Now, I started the carbon fiber in one and I fucked up. <laughs> but don't worry, I fixed it. It's all sorted. But I'll show you why and how I fucked up. So, you imagine this bit here has carbon fiber on it, all the strands are stuck down. What I did was I got my brush when I was putting on the resin, I stroked down, it pulled one of the fibers out and you can see the black plastic underneath. So, if I carried on, it would have looked absolutely crap, it would have looked, it would look terrible. So, basically, I'm going to cheat a little bit, see if it works, see if I can pull it off. And if it works, then it's a good thing for you, because also it cuts out the step of the um, black epoxy. So I'll show you now. So when this strand came out, what I did was basically, I just grabbed hold of the carbon fiber and ripped it off. It came off pretty easy. Um, wasn't really stuck down that hard. So what I've done now is I've just mixed up a bit of clear epoxy, which is the, the covering coat. I've got that like that. And I've started putting it on some of the objects, you can see. Doesn't look that good at the moment. It looks a bit dull actually in there, but it is shiny in real life. Um, so what I've done is I've just put a bit of that straight onto that and hopefully I'll be able to stick the carbon fibre to it um, without needing any black base coat. So I've got my carbon fibre. I'm just going to make sure the weave's alright, which it is. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to place it straight on. So, yeah, so just be careful when you're putting your carbon fibre on, just make sure that you don't brush any of... So what I did was I got the brush, and when I strokes it, it pulls them off like that. And, it, and basically you could then see the plastic through that bit. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to put, make sure it's all stuck down properly. And I'm just going to go ahead and put some of this resin over the top. Now there's a technique to doing this. Don't stroke it because it just messes it up. What you almost want to do is you just want to dab. Just dab it on. Like that. So what I've done is I've actually gone further to the edge. And what that does is the weight of the resin pulls it down. So and now I know that when I cut around the edge, it's going to be stuck down all the way around. So let's start with that one. These can have a probably another coat. And then what we'll do is we'll then go and do some other bits and bobs whilst this is dry. And they say leave it for three hours. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna leave it for three hours. The other thing you wanna be careful of is the reason why I mixed this before and didn't do it on the video is when you're stirring it up, you'll get air bubbles in the mixture. Now, if you just leave the mixture for about five, 10 minutes, what the, what will do is all the bubbles will come to the surface and then pop. So, don't mix it up straight away and then just go and put your resin on because then it, you'll have a load of bubbles and it, it'll just look a mess. And when, when you start sanding, those bubbles will fill up with polishing compound and, and dust and it'll just look absolute bollocks. So don't, don't do that. Just leave it and let it settle.
So you can kind of get an idea of what the finished product's going to look like. Oh, you fucking piece of shit. Just stay there. So what I've done, I've just put the pot and the brush into the, into the freezer. So basically what I'll do is it'll, it'll slow down the reaction of the epoxy and the hardener going off and it should extend the pot life to round about, I think it's about five hours or something, but we're gonna paint these in three so it doesn't really matter. I just don't want that to go off and then find out to mix a load more up just when I could have saved that. So that's been saved. Those have been done now. So I'm gonna leave those for three hours, which will take us up to six o'clock. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go and do something else whilst we're waiting. So I'll see you in a bit. So we're just gonna go downstairs. Last night I got back and I put two coats of the epoxy resin on because I just wanted to get it ready for today and start drying out. I put two coats and I haven't actually seen it yet, so let's go and have a look and see what it looks like. So here's a bit that I did a while back. You can see this bit. So here's a bit I did a while back. Still got some little imperfections in it, but they can they can be sanded out. That's had three coats of epoxy on it. Um, and it, it's turned out all right, it's not too bad. I'll get a light on and you can see it properly. So that's it underneath the light. That's turned out quite nice. This bit goes underneath the dash where your um, centre console is uh, and just sits in there. So that's that's done. It just needs a bit of a flat, but it's still tacky, so I can't mess about with it too much. There's some of the control panel bits. which are coming out all right. So what I'm gonna do is you can see where it's folding. I just need to wait until it goes hard and then I can trim those bits down and you should have some of Should have some at the end which looks like that. So I just need to get Wait until it dries properly because I can still move it and you're not meant to be able to do that. Um, I'm going to wait until it dries and then I'm going to trim it down. And that will probably be tomorrow now because I don't think it's drying that fast because it's quite, it's quite cold, the heating doesn't come on yet. So instead, I think what we'll do is we'll go and do, make another video and then I'll carry this one on tomorrow. And that's the exhaust trim. That one definitely needs more coats. So I think what I might do now is I might just um, put another coat on that because that's that will need another one. Might even try and put another one on them too. But we'll see. So I put the resin in the free in the freezer to keep it to keep it soft, so it didn't go off. And you can still see, see it's still a, see it looks as though it's gone off, but it hasn't. So a little trick that I found. You can see it's frozen, so. Get the oven on. And now it's brew time.
So by the time that's boiled, just turn your oven off. It shouldn't be that, that hot. So by the time you've sorted that, this should be... No, that might have gone off actually. So what I'll do is I'll put it in the oven for a bit longer and hopefully it might just melt it up a bit. Just so you know when you put it in, don't ever let it slip otherwise it goes in your fucking oven everywhere. <laughs> don't tell the fiance. Well, so that's steaming. And it's, it's pretty much like piss. So that should be all right. Although it is still although it is still hard in places. Did we use it? Um No oh fuck it, we got loads. Yeah, we'll bin that. But the brush is fine. Which is good. So now it's a waste of another hey, what the fuck? Uh, we, we don't have to waste another brush, so we'll clean that off and we'll mix up a fresh batch. So now you know you can't freeze it overnight. And literally no more than five minutes later, it's gone rock solid. So it's good that we didn't use it, because otherwise we'd be up shit creek right now. Wow. Right, so on second thoughts, I've had a look at these, and th this actually has this actually has quite a lot of high spots in places. So the video and the instructions that I've been watching, they actually say that you have to take the high spots off before you actually carry on with the rest of the job. So what I'm going to do is that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to let them go off completely. I'm going to take them to work tomorrow. I'm going to trim them all up. So I'm going to cut off all the excess rubbish that's on them and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put another coat on and that should hopefully seal the edges where I've cut the carbon onto the actual panel. Right so I've got tired of waiting so what I decided to do was trim them down a bit just make them look a bit more what they're meant to be. Obviously they're meant to have a hole in there but I'm going to trim that out when it cures because I don't think, I think if I start trying to cut it now it'll just pull it away from and it'll just mess it up. So what I'm going to do is when they, when they go off and take them to work, drill a hole in that and then what I'll do is I'll use a little file and just try and file out the hole. And that's come out pretty well. I didn't think that would come out as nice as it has, but it, but it looks pretty decent to be fair. So, yeah, I'm happy with that. And that, those, they look alright too. The weave goes the same way, but I don't think you can help it, because if you turn that one like that... Oh, maybe it should have been like that, actually. Yeah, I don't know if you turn it upside down, but the, the weave is different when it's like that. And the, yeah, no, I've done it the right way. I'm happy with that. That's the way I want it. So, I've left a little bit of an edge going all the way around. So... The reason why I've done that is because I want a proper clean edge. I'm going to file that edge off so it's flush with the rest of this. I don't want to cut it and then find that it starts splintering back and cracking the lacquer and going all white, which it has done on here, but I don't really give two craps about this one so much. If you can see, I started cutting that back on that edge there. And it's just started to splinter in, but that's covered it. I'd like it's on the sits like that on the car, so you're never going to see that much. So that's hidden, so I'm not really too bothered about that. But I'm glad I did that first because it's it's taught me not to cut right to the edge. But I'm sure if we put a bit of epoxy on that, it might just hide it a little bit. So all this I'm going to grind off with some kind of 
um, air file. We'll get rid of all that tatty stuff and make it look nice. So I'm going to complete this video. Well, it won't be completed tomorrow because even if I file all the edge off and then put another coat on, it's not going to be. I'm not going to be able to let it go off and um, sand it all down and make it look nice and finished and fitted by tomorrow. So it's probably going to be this time next week. But I just want to take my time over it because I don't want to mess up now. I've got pretty far and it's all looking pretty decent. So basically what we're going to do is going to end the vlog here. If you subscribe as well and click the little bell below, it'll then tell you when I've uploaded the video. So see you later. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next vlog.